What's up dudes, my name is Nick and welcome back for another music video reaction. Of course, naturally, I've got to take a look at this song from Luna Odd Eye Circle. Technically, well, I suppose we can just call it Luna with the, with the subunit, I believe it is, called Odd Eye Circle and the song called Girl Front. And I mean, I'm, I, th I think at this point now, I've listened, I've done a reaction video for every single one of these Luna songs. Um, I do believe, I do, I, I know that I missed like, I think two or three from the beginning because I picked up with uh, December, uh, but since then I've listened to everything and I've also made up what I missed. So we just got it. We just got to keep the series going, make sure that I hit every single song. Uh, if I'm mistaken about me actually listening to every, every one of these songs or making one, making a video for it, then do correct me. But before I can listen to that, though, we're going to do what I do with one of, with with my videos. Normally, I'm going to listen to this song specifically. I'm going to give you guys my honest first impression, thoughts, and opinions. And if you like that, then subscribe. If that if you don't like that, then that's cool too. I do appreciate you watch, taking the time to watch this video. Uh, you know, now it's it is what it is. So, with all that being said, let's get this video started. I was gonna say I, I had to check my volume right there. I, I absolutely hate the silent intros in videos where you know like got ten seconds of silence. It makes me feel like I didn't actually hit the space bar. It's the LA River. Or something like that, at least. No, it is the LA River though. All right, I'm into it already. I'm sold. It just infuse it just infuse like a, a, a little a little bit of that upbeat vibe from like the the first quarter of the year into this song right here like the parts this parts a little a little bit you know more more bubbly and bubblegum than 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 the stuff from these these girls the last couple of years but now we're now we're back to it I, I absolutely dig it. This song is great. So far. There's still, there's still time for, for um, whatever the name of the company is. I'm drawing a blank to ruin it. It's always a possibility. I never rule it out. But I don't think they're gonna... I dig this. I, they kind of they kind of found a way to to kind of well, yeah. Actually, no. We're gonna actually continue that thought because I doubted myself for a second and I was like, wait a minute. But with this, with this sort of song, is kind of like a, a a mixture of the of the vibe and the feel from the the three girls solo or single solo solo songs, kind of mashed up into one. Or at least the feel and the tone and all of that stuff from those songs is like an undercurrent, something something that's under the surface of of this song. Which I dig that. It's just too much. It's too much. It's fun though, man. It's like. You know, like this thing is like it's got it's got a little bit of that a little bit of that fun stuff from like Love Cherry Motion. It's got some, you know, a, a little bit of a, you know, sexy feel to it when you get when you do a little bit of that breakdown thing. You know, it's just got like they they mixed up the last the last three solo songs into into this one very very well. 
but it's not like yeah 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 we'll 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 flesh that that out a little bit more once this tape stops rewinding or yeah okay so to expand on that thought that this song is like the three previous songs into one is that you know so it's not like obviously at least to me at least it's not like it's not like this is or maybe it is obvious to me because i'm talking about it but maybe it's not actually a thing and i'm making it up but it isn't as you know obvious and blatant as like the actual debut song from card which was very much a like literal mashup of specific parts of their three pre-debut songs so this song does include you know stuff it's not obvious right but it is definitely the general idea and the feel and the tone and the the genre and the nature of the solo songs that that these girls got with their songs leading up to this one so you know you a little bit of you know upbeat synth pop kind of thing that like love cherry motion brought to it get a little bit of a you know sexy-ish sort of you know um breakdown part in this song as well but it is all tied together by something that is I don't know necessarily if it's drastically different or noticeably different from the previous songs because it, it, it honestly does feel have a vibe very very similar to love cherry motion but at the same time it does bring elements i think from the other two songs into this one quite nicely as a as something that is not like obviously on the top of this of, of the thing so it's not like you can specifically pick out parts from the other songs but it is it does just kind of carry that general vibe into the song underneath the the main idea the main theme of this song i don't know if that makes any sense but like this is a obviously a unique song but it has kind of blended the the style and the sound and the feel of the other girls into it no, not blended it has incorporated that into different parts of the song but it's not something that is you know blatantly obvious that's like right out wide in the open it is something that is a little bit buried in like say the second or the third layer of this song so it's not like if you just listen to it at the, at the very surface if you just listen to it at that you probably you know might not hear or maybe i'm making all this up like i just said or like i said previously but you know i kind of feel that like you know going a little bit deeper than the surf than the, what the song sounds like and what the song feels like at the surface you kind of get the sense that they did sort of you know mix up and blend up a little bit of what the what the other girls music was about or what the you know girls solo music was about and incorporated it into their you know subunit or their their trio um unit and i think that's cool i think that's and, and also it sounds great and it actually does kind of you know mesh and vibe and the entire song just like actually goes together really really well in my mind so that is really that that's the main thing that's kind of stood out to me there's i don't know necessarily that there's enough like you know small things that i could talk about in extensive detail not to mention i probably should end this video relatively soon uh or right now so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna end this video i'm gonna stop talking and turn it over to you guys to share your thoughts and opinions about this song and if you really want to you could talk about the music video as well so put that stuff down in the comments below also ask and answer the question that i'm about to pose to you guys right now which is of the last three songs from luna the solo songs for the girls included in this video which one of them is your favorite and why so i'm looking forward to hearing your answers and to, to see why you like those songs, what like the songs that you do. So remember, comment section down for that. Or if you really want to want to send those answers to me, or just tell me what you think on social media, then you can definitely do that. Just hit me up through Twitter or Facebook. The best for Instagram if you really want to. I got links to those profiles in the description box below. So that's going to be it for this video. So you know, as always, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all next time.